Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So this is just going to be a, a quick video. This has got to be the fastest that I've ever seen an assault weapons ban passed. I mean, you can't even give it a full week just for consideration when you're talking about, well, restricting people's fundamental constitutional rights. Well, apparently not, because we're talking about passed in the House, passed in the Senate, sent up to the governor's desk, and signed merely hours after finishing the entire process in less than a week. Let's talk about it. This channel is proud to be sponsored by the USCCA, absolutely one of the best resources and best memberships you could ever have in your wallet. They will teach you how to respond before and after a self-defense incident. They have a 24-7 emergency hotline. They will get somebody out there to take care of you and to speak for you, a lawyer of your choice. So definitely worth taking a look at the USCCA. With your membership, you get that self-defense liability insurance as well. So check them out down below. Let's get to it. So if you ever needed proof that J.B. Pritzker and the Democrats of Illinois absolutely could care less about your fundamental constitutionally protected Second Amendment rights, look no further than this video, because I have a timeline here that proves it. It shows that there is very little, if any, actual debate on the topic. So if we take a look back at Friday, just this recent Friday, that's when the House passed Illinois' so-called assault weapons ban. It also does a lot more, so it's a pretty significant bill. It bans magazines that can hold more than 10 rounds, it introduces registration, uh, it raises the age limit for your FOIA card to 21, and so forth. So there, there's a lot going on here. It's a pretty significant bill. You'd think this would actually take some time. There would be pretty heated and massive debate, and we wouldn't see anything for a while. But no, it goes to the Senate. It, the Senate amends it and passes it just that following Monday by afternoon. So just over the weekend, it goes from being passed in the House to being passed in the Senate. How long do you think it took before Pritzker signed it? Yeah, just later that night. That same night, Pritzker signs the bill. So in a matter of just the weekend from Friday to Monday, we have bans, registration, and all sorts of new rules, regulation, and laws that infringe on people's Second Amendment rights. That is extremely fast. It allowed for almost no debate and just shows you it's all about the agenda. It's not about the facts and what this is actually going to do, which is basically just hurt the law abiding. So obviously there's going to be a slew of lawsuits on this one, and then rightly so now that it's been signed by the governor, and hopefully we can get an injunction placed on this law so that it doesn't take effect until it makes its way through the court system and, you know, people have time to actually prove that what they're doing here is unconstitutional. Now, if for some reason the injunction doesn't get put in place and it takes a long time for it to go through the court system, uh, it looks like people have until January 1st of 2024 in order to register what they already own. You're not going to be able to get anything new. You're not going to be able to go and import anything. All that stuff is going to be off the table. So it's basically just a complete ban unless you already own it. And then again, until you have until January 1st to register what you already own. So again, hopefully we can get an injunction in place here and just put an absolute stop to this madness. Again, the ninth state in the United States to do this. Like I said before in previous videos, there's already a lawsuit working its way in California right now on the exact same thing. So if uh, we get a favorable outcome, which I think that we will in that case, that would obviously have a direct effect on the cases that are gonna be coming forward here in Illinois. But uh, I wanted to make you guys aware of that in just a matter of, you know, from Friday to Monday, just a nice simple weekend, the state of Illinois has completely upended the Second Amendment in that state. Uh, I'll put a link to, below to an article and some videos you guys can watch specifically on this topic and kind of the source of where I was getting my information. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.